I was thinking about something um, a couple minutes ago, uh, and I want to I want to maybe be like maybe the first to say this. Okay, I, I'm not, actually I'm not the first to say it. There's other people out there who would say it because we just believe in the nation. Well, in the event that Joe Biden actually becomes a president, he's my president. Like I'm, he's my president. I won't be putting out hashtags that say not my president. I won't be be a part of some resistance or nothing like that. I won't be I won't be that type type of sour grapes and I won't be completely I don't know, that's unhinged about it. Just cuz it's just not cool, you know. It's, whether or not I agree with the dude, it's like it's still okay, he's my president. I got to live in you know, live with his decisions here in office if he actually becomes the president, but I still got to live with it. And that's where you think about the, the supposed peaceful transfer of power. That actually never happened for Trump. And there's people who have said he's not presidential, he doesn't talk presidential, he doesn't sound like other presidents and stuff. But at the same time, they've said that the, the government's corrupt and, you know, these people are out for themselves. They have their own clubs and they do things against the American public that are actually to our detriment. Well. In the event that somebody comes along that doesn't sound like the rest of them, what happens? Well, that dude gets crucified. <laughs> I mean, he, he gets, you know, maligned and slandered and all that stuff. At the same time, what people are saying, well, there's a peaceful transfer of power. Russiagate was a, was a hoax, it was a lie. All this stuff with Stormy Daniels and the tax returns and all that stuff, it was a lie. But these things, they were a part of the narrative that was pushed by the media and then accepted by a portion of our public that said that this guy's not who should be in office. And, and there were things said about him that a lot of people just were kind of like, at first, I mean, a lot of people were, I mean, I, I supported the guy the whole time. And there were things about him I was kind of like, dude, this dude sounds freaking ridiculous sometimes. But at the same time, I was like, you know what, this is what I asked for. I wanted someone to really shake this up and to not be a part of the establishment. And that's what happened. And the establishment went and turned on him. So that's what it looks like, right? So what does he have to do? He's got to deal with people inside of his, his own government that he's allowed to stay on who actually are part of this resistance that lie, cheat, and steal from behind his back. And it's like, well, you, shouldn't have, you should have known what not to do. Well, doesn't that show a little bit about what he doesn't know about working from the insides of the establishment? Doesn't that show that a little bit? It's like, okay, well, he's got these people who should be on his side, but they're not because he doesn't know who's friend or foe. It's like, how do you how do you work that out? And this is the deal, you know, it's like in, in the event that something, you know, that 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 he actually if he would, let's say he stays on as president, he's still got to worry about the people within the, the, the deep state. Right. And that thing was fully exposed. I mean, even John Brennan even said the deep, the deep state, the deep state exists. It's like, yeah, it exists. <laughs> we saw it. So the transfer of power actually never happened from Obama to Trump. And if you're intellectually honest about it, you know it didn't happen. But then at the same time, you still hold him to the same standard. Like, you need to be presidential while we don't want to transfer you power. It's like, come on, man. You got you to be real about it. At least be intellectually honest about it. Because these things actually happened to the president. There were, wor there were people working from within his own walls that were sabotaging him. Like that, you know, so-called anonymous guy. He may not have been high up on the, on the ladder, but he was talking to the New York Post or the, the New York Times. And these newspapers, these news channels were broadcasting this dude's information like he was somebody that's special. These things actually happen to us as the American public. And this is why it's so important not to gloat about this stuff. Because you might have these ideas about who Trump actually was, but you're ignoring the truth of what the guy had to actually fight through, what he has to fight through. And would you be kind to the media? I wouldn't be kind to the media. I wouldn't be nice to these people. These people are freaking vicious. Would you accept that they would attack your own kids? Would you accept the f that they would use whatever means necessary to take them down? No. That's not what you would do. But, you know, that's what some people make that choice. So just understand, like, if you use even a little bit of an intellectual honesty... You can look through, you can actually look and say, okay, yeah, maybe we didn't give the guy a fair shot. Okay, maybe we actually didn't really transfer power appropriately. But he still should have sounded like this. He still still should have been like this. You've asked for somebody to come and shake up Washington. You've asked for somebody to come and shake up our nation to make it more about the people. 
but you didn't want that. And so you voted against it. So now you go back to the guy that's been in the establishment for 47 years. It's supposed to be now he's going to fix up a piece of what he's been a part of for 47 years. <laughs> All right, I don't understand the logic, but it is what it is. So I just want to look at this from that perspective. You asked for something. You wanted something. You've said it the entire time. You wanted somebody to do something for us. And then when you got things happening for us within the American public, you didn't want it because it didn't sound right. It didn't come out of the person's face right. This is what it is. But just use a little bit of intellectual honesty because right now there's a lot of gloating happening. And that's, it's fine. Like, you know, it is what it is. And I, I'll take a big brunt of it because there may not be people out there who are willing to stick their necks out and put their chin out and say, yeah, I'm one of those people that's actually a Trump supporter. But then again, I know what I wouldn't do to you. No, and I know what I wouldn't say, because it's not worth my time. What is worth my time is actually having relationships with people. And I don't need to be right about everything. But what I can do is I can stand up and I can say something just logically and just like this. But if you, you can't do that and you got to accuse people like myself of being things that we are not, that's not my issue. So I'm just hoping this, right? People want the nation to come back together. But there was a side of this aisle that actually was just driving the nation apart. It had nothing to do with Trump had everything to do with the media. And some of us believed it, some of us didn't. Are you guilty in it? No, because we basically were lied to. We were lied to the whole time. So how does that land on all of us? Well, got to use a little bit more discernment, use a little bit more wisdom in it, and not follow the media and what they actually want to spew to us and tell us what the truth is. And then we decide to go out and find out the truth, what it really is out there. And then we realize that we're actually being lied to about stuff. Hold on to the narrative or look the other way and say, okay, what's really going on? It's your choice, it's our choice. And we'll see what happens. And again, like this dude, if he becomes my president, he's my president. And I won't be doing hashtags of not my president, yada, yada, I won't be doing that because I want to give the guy a fair shot. Hope he does well. But I'll only do that when everything goes to the courts. I'm just gonna have to lie to you because I'm not gonna give that over. But if he does become the president, he's my president. And you won't see me talking about blowing up the White House and every single star in NBA, NFL, whatever, out there yelling about how racist the guy is when he was never racist before he became a Republican. You know, it is what it is. But we'll see. We'll see. All y'all, keep your shirts on. Tech, uh, Trump folks, keep your shirts on. Biden folks, y'all want to glow, go ahead and do so. It is what it is. <laughs> you get, sometimes y'all just can't help yourselves. But we're human. Be safe out in the street.